This is a lesson for using mental math to add, so no calculators. So looking at the first problem, it says students from two schools went on a field trip. There were 227 students in one school and 134 students in the other school. How many students went on the field trip? Use mental math to find out. No calculators. And record your answer below. I will give you two minutes to find the answer to this. Time's almost up. Make sure that you did not estimate, as that was our last lesson. This lesson is finding the real answer. Time's up. How did you do it? There are many ways. One way is to add from left to right. So looking at the hundreds first, we have a 2 and we have a 1. 2 plus 1 is 3. Next, looking at the tens place, you can see that we have a 2 and a 3. 2 plus 3 is 5. Last, we will look at the 1's place. We've got a 7 and a 4. Now 7 plus 4 is 11. So we put the 1 here and the other 1 needs to be added to the 5. So the 5 turns into a 6. 3 and 1 stay the same. Was your answer 361? Down below on your sheet, we've got three ways. I just demonstrated one way that I prefer, but here are two other ways and adding from left and right again. So the first way would be making friendly numbers friendly numbers. Now those are numbers that, you guessed it, are friendly to your mind. So when you're thinking about friendly numbers, you think about um, if you can add or subtract a small amount of numbers to make a more friendly number. Now I can see that 198 is really, really close to 200. So if I add 2 to 198, I can turn it into 200. Now, I can't just add 2 to this number without taking away 2 from the other number to keep the equation correct. So, since I added 2 to the first number, I must take away 2 from the other number, leaving 341. Now you can see 
that 200 plus 341 is much, much easier because I can just pay attention to this one digit on the first number and add it to the last number. So 2 plus 3 is 5. And I can see that I have 0, 0 here. So all I need to worry about is my 41 at the end. So my answer is 541. Now, moving on to counting on. In this case, we look at the place value. So this number, 170, is a pretty nice number. There's not much that I would need to do to it to make it a friendly number. To make it my life easier, it would just end up making it more difficult. So I'm going to leave 170 the same. And first, I'm going to add the hundreds place of the second number to 170. So 170 plus 300 would equal, you guessed it, 400 and 70. So I'm taking care of my three. Next up, I need to add the four. So I'm going to add 48 to my number. So I take this number that I solved and I bring it down here and I add 40 to it. So I've got 400, oh, my mouse just messed up. Hang on here. I'm going to add 470 plus 40. And it's working again. So 470, get my pen here, plus 40, oh, it's a little over, don't mind that, equals, now 4 plus 7 again, that's 11. So I'm going to add my 1 to the 4 on the 400, making it 500, 10. by counting up 40. So in your mind, once you get to 470 and you see 40 there, you could think 470 and then count up by tens until you've counted four tens. You could use your fingers. So you could say 470, 480, 490, 500, 510. You've counted by four tens making 510. Now all you have left is the 400, I mean all you have left is the 8. So you've got 510 plus 8 would equal 518. Sorry my computer is messing up here. So 518 would be my final answer. Now at the bottom we've got adding from left to right like I showed you before. So at, when adding from left to right you're adding from the left. So the biggest numbers you're adding first. The only time this comes a problem is when you've got a number that is larger than one digit and then you have to carry over. So let's see if this happens to this number. We've got 300 plus 200 first. So 300 plus 200 equals 500. Next up, we've got the 5 and the 6. So that would be 50 plus 60. 50 plus 60 would be 100. 10. 
Now, this is showing on paper, but you would actually be doing this all in your head. So I've got 500 in my head, and I see that 5 plus 6 is equal to 11. So that bumps my 500 up to 600. So over here, we've got 500 plus 110 is equal to 610. Now we've got our ones left. So 610 plus that measly 3 on the 1 number is equal to 613. Now I know you're thinking, but Miss Bashforth, that is really complicated to do when I could just either pull my calculator up or plunk one number under the other and add. But all of this work that I wrote down is actually what you do in your head. It might help for you to write it down on paper at first, but eventually the goal is to think about adding larger numbers in your head in one of these three ways or in another way that makes sense to you so long as it works. So on the bottom here, it does remind you, it says you might use a different way to add in your head. The important thing is that you find a strategy that works best for you other than your calculator. Now, you're not always going to have a calculator with you, or you're not always going to have hands that can carry a calculator. For example, if you are at a store, you're carrying a bunch of items, and it's not convenient for you to put all of those items down, pull out your phone or your iPod, and add up all of the numbers to see if you have enough money. So, it's a great strategy to use, one of the ones that I use probably the most in life. Your assignment is page 150, and you're doing numbers 1 and 2. Now, each of those questions has 8 on it, 8 questions within the numbers. So, you do need to get to work on these. You can use any mental math strategy that you can come up with. No calculators and try not to just write one number on top of the other and then add. Good luck!